All right, so I'm gonna do another breakdown video for you guys. Uh, this one was, I mean, for being honest, it was pretty straightforward. Um, sometimes, look, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes, yes, it's it's easier, right? If you know and you feel the energy from a girl and you can tell that she likes you, finds you attractive, then it's not extremely difficult. Um, so for you guys, it's not gonna be a super complex one. But I will say, right, it's so important to pay attention to the signs and, you know, playful banter and whatnot. So I'll give you guys a little bit of a breakdown on this, on this uh, date that I did here. Crees que la comunicación verbal es necesaria? Sí, es muy necesaria, pero eh, se puede comunicar de diferentes formas. La comunicación corporal eh, también es muy buena y es muy fácil de entender. Yo estudio comunicación. Estudias comunicación, uh, ya deb deberías saber que las palabras no sirven. Pues realmente eso es... Ok, so, you probably noticed me doing this classic thing, and... Um, it's sort of the, the whole notion here is getting the girl to understand that you are fully aware of the reality uh, that words are only surface level, okay? All girls communicate on one level below a surface level, sometimes two levels, but initially it's always at least one level below, right? So what girls say, right? They have multiple meanings at the same time. So on the surface level, they'll mean X. And then as you dig deeper, you'll realize that that has a hidden meaning or an extra meaning behind it. So I always say this, I always tell them, listen, are you really that confident that communication is everything? Because what girls will say this all the time, it's all about communication. And guys will receive that message logically, and they'll think, oh, I got to talk to her more. And it's nothing to do with that. It's all to do with how she feels about the communication. Okay. So what does that look like? In this case, right, I'm letting her know. Letting her know, listen, uh, I don't think, uh, I think we both understand that communication and what that means is not about words. It's about how, what the feeling is, okay? And that feeling that she feels, that is what communication is interpreted as. Not actually me and you sitting there and talking through some sort of problem that exists, right? Because in the end, that's conflict-based behavior and girls hate conflict like this typically speaking, especially. Some girls will engage in it, but I think it's pretty safe to say that most girls, and even guys these days, guys in general these days are very anti-conflict, but as a whole, girls really hate this conflict where they have to go and discuss something because they they don't like the feeling they get from it. So a lot of times you as a guy are sort of expected to pick up the bill on that, and you have to just understand without her telling you. So I, I'm not joking about the mind reading thing. Eventually you get really good at perceiving body language, perceiving what they say, understanding that what, what is the message behind what they're telling you, right? And um, when you get that, then they also enjoy it because now they're not, they don't have this expectation where I have to draw it out for this guy. He just gets it. So this is why I always dabble with this. I always say, do you really think that communication is just about words, right? She understands. Well, that's very objective. She understands that it's not. So this is sort of how I'm breaking the grounds of, okay, what's this going to be like? You know, what kind of guy am I? Am I going to be your typical guy that's going to sit there and, oh, let's discuss if we, you know, do you like me? It's been two minutes. Do you like me yet? It's like very unattractive behavior. You know, it's already seeking validation or any of these stupid things. A lot of guys do this. I wouldn't be saying it if it wasn't true. A lot of guys need constant validation from a girl now. And then they wonder why the girl's turned off right? Leave something to be desired. A little bit of mystery is good. Es muy eh, objetivo porque, digamos, en una relación es muy importante la comunicación. ¿Por qué? Porque es que la pareja no es adivina. Y a veces las mujeres se ponen de mal humor y dicen, ay, es que mi novio no me trajo flores. Tú le dijiste que quería flores, tu novio no es adivino. Entonces de ahí parten eh, las, las discusiones. Por eso es que es muy importante. So a lot of girls will say that's important, but I always say once the dynamic has been established and once there's some intimacy that occurs, immediately the dynamic changes. This is why I'm making this face because I'm like, no, this is obviously not truth. The truth is very simple. They want you to just know what to do. When you have to ask for a gift, it doesn't feel the same. 
Okay. It just doesn't feel the same. Oh, I asked him for flowers. Hey, I'm glad he bought me flowers. He put in the effort to go get them, but it's not the same as him just showing up when he knows that I need that. The crazy thing about this is girls won't even expect this from guys that they truly like a lot. They won't even bother, right? They'll be happy with very little. That's the truth. To get to that point, though, you have to be a very specific type of guy and you have to have very, uh, do I want to say, not necessarily just strict boundaries, but you have to sort of um, be completely authentic in that, right? You have to know, hey, this is what it is for me. If you don't like it, I understand. This is just how it's always going to be. And even initially, they might get mad at that, right? But eventually, they'll learn to respect it because there is some, there's something stable about that. She'll always know what to expect now. So she'll know where she can't go. And if she does go across the line, now it's one of two things. She lost respect for you or she's trying to provoke you into something. Okay? Let's continue. Hey guys, before we continue, I want to quickly let you know about Crema Social. This day was entirely done on the Crema Social app, which lets you meet women just like the one in this video. I've enjoyed using it myself for the last few months, and it helps me make content for you guys, which is an awesome bonus. If you like the date videos and you want to talk to some of these girls yourself, I encourage you to check it out. The link to download the app is in the description. All right, let's get back to the video. In that sense, you know very well tu mente. Es que siento que la, la mente de un hombre funciona muy diferente. Por suerte para Por suerte ti, para eh, ti eh, eh, habla la mente femenina. <laughs> ok, entonces es porque ya tienes experiencia. So yeah, classic, right? I mean, I'm not even lying here, I'm just telling the truth, but of course she'll interpret that as experience because yeah, you, you go and you date enough women, eventually you get the point. You get the point of what is necessary and people will tell you always some sort of cope thing like, oh, but the right girl won't need this or this or that, or you don't have to do all these tricks. It's all just meeting the right person. And this is just honestly the biggest bull that possibly exists. It's your job to perform. Okay. Life is a performance. Talking to women, there's a element of performance at play. Being your absolute genuine self is cool if your genuine self is smart, attractive, knows exactly what to say, then cool. But for most guys, that's never going to be the case unless they train. Okay, so what do you do in the meantime? Well, you have to get your experience somehow. So in that process, you have to learn that the type of guy you have to become is only going to happen through experience. Okay, with that experience, you will learn how to accept the realities of what comes with women. Okay. And yes, there's an objectivity to it. People love to pretend like everything's subjective in nature, obviously, because it's easy. It's easy to say, oh, but not every girl likes this. Well, not every girl likes a specific type of guy because of the way he looks or whatever. Or not every girl likes a specific guy with a type of voice that she doesn't like. Like there's certain physical characteristics that girls won't like. However, when it comes to engaging them and making them feel excited and all this, there is a bit of a consistency to a lot of these things. Okay. Girls need to feel both. Okay. There's still a physical being at the end of the day that need to be, they need to feel excited in your presence. And the only way to do that is through a little bit of play banter and a little bit of fake gaslighting or you, however you want to call it. Right. If they're aware what's going on, but not fully sure that's that, that golden zone. Right. And I think it's important to understand how to ride that line and knowing when it's too much and knowing when it's too little, right? And you have to go back and forth from this. You can't just constantly do this all the time, but you also can't be super boring and monotone all the time either, right? So you gotta, you gotta oscillate back and forth and it's mood dependent. Like, you know, girls will randomly wake up and they'll start crying because it's raining outside. So maybe that's not necessarily the best time to start, you know, doing all kinds of psychological gameplay. At that time, you probably wanna be a little bit more pulled back, right? And let her come to you like a cat, for example. But there's times when they're getting really, really testy, right? Girls sometimes get in a mood where they're really testy and they want to create chaos, right? And in those moments, yeah, engage them in some sort of psychological play, right? This is this is where you have to start to build a sense of, okay? Ciencia. No, el universo me enseño. Y según tú, ¿cómo it's a it's a white lie obviously, right? She knows what's going on. And that's what a lot of you guys miss. She knows what's going on. She knows when I say the universe. Obviously, it's a, uh, it's like, yes, I learned it from girls, but I'm trying to maintain an image of no, I don't have thousands of girls or whatever. I'm trying to keep that because 
Keep in mind, this is information that's not important. A girl always wants to feel special, okay? They know deep down that if you're an attractive guy, that there is other girls in the past or currently or whatever. They know this, but they want to feel like they're the special one, at least in the moment you're communicating with them. So maintaining that boundary is a well-established sub-communication, okay? Oh, I learned from whatever, right? And they're not going to typically pester you on this, not unless they're extremely like insecure or jealous or something. Because a lot of them think they're so special, so why would they feel jealous out of the gate? Tiene la mente femenina. Tienes que estar en sintonía con las emociones de tu mujer en todo momento. Cuando ella está triste, le das un abrazo. Cuando ella quiere que hagas algo sin que ella tenga que decirlo, lo hace. Pero ¿cómo vas a saber qué quiere que hagas si, si no te lo dice, si no te lo comunica? Solo lo sé. <laughs> veces uh, una mujer también espera que digas que no digas mm, bueno pues o sea digo no digo que estés equivocado hace <laughs> she's trying to engage with me in some sort of logical discussion but it's pointless because <laughs> obviously she knows what i'm saying is the truth uh relationships are never logical Right, bring it from a third-party perspective. It's logical, but the act of it when you're in it is purely emotional. Like you can look at it from a logical lens. Like I said, third party, you can be like, oh, okay, yeah, it makes sense that that girl likes this guy. You know, this guy's good looking, whatever. It makes sense that this girl likes this, or this guy. It makes sense that this guy likes this girl, attractive, pleasant, whatever. But when you're in it, when you're the one that's in that situation, right? It's always an emotional game pretty much never a logical game, right? If it is hyperlogical, you actually have a problem. And a lot of guys don't accept this because it's always, guys always make it like, oh, it's all logic, right? Like, oh, well, he has money, so obviously she wants his money. I mean, okay, if a girl's being that logical with you and she's just with you for the purpose of money and that's obvious to you that it's just a logical game, she doesn't even like you. The only way for you to know that a girl's really into you is when she's really emotional about things you do, about what you, where you're at, how you're speaking, right? These are the ways you know that she actually likes you. So you don't have to pester, ask questions, and constantly seek validation. And the truth is, very few girls are able to manipulate this process long term. Like, yeah, sure, a few might be able to play the game a little bit, but eventually you'll pick up on the fact that she doesn't care, um, even if she's trying to seduce you for some sort of gain, right? Girls typically don't really move like this. If you're a hyper, hyper millionaire, billionaire guy, yeah, in that scenario, if you also have a lot of um, social status, then maybe we'd have a different conversation and we can talk about that privately. But for the vast majority, like the 99% of guys, you're not really going to experience this. Okay, you really aren't. So this irrational fear that a girl is going to come after you for your money. I'm sorry, bro, uh, you making like $80,000 uh, US a year is not the type of money that girls are going to spend a lot of time wasting, you know, to manipulate you into some sort of seduction game. I'm just being honest. Yeah, a lot of guys these days are going to come out there saying, oh, she's trying to get me for my money. It's like, what money, man? You think $80,000 a year is a lot of money? I mean, it's fine. It's above average, okay? You can maybe slowly start moving ahead if you're all making all the correct decisions and your expenses are slimmed down, all this stuff. But, you know, it, <laughs> girls are going to be out here manipulating you for that 80 k bro. Uh, I'm just going to be honest. So let's just... Move that cope to the side, please. A ciertas en muchas, pero hay veces, uh, es que no sé, creo que la mente femenina es muy compleja. So the one thing I like about this girl, she's being very honest at least. So she has some level of awareness of her own complexity, which is true. I mean, girls are extremely complex, but I don't think it's just the fact that it's complex. I think it's that it's such a dynamic changing state. I think that's the part of the that's the part that really makes it complex. But for us, like for us as guys, right? It's very linear. It's always sort of the same. It's like, yeah, I want X, I want food, I want X enjoyment, whatever. It's very predictable. Guys are very predictable when it comes to their behavior. Girls, though, there's this randomness, very dynamic. Like one moment she'll want chocolate, the next moment she'll want to go outside. Then she's gonna randomly want to be sad. Like some girls enjoy being sad for a period of time. Then she'll enjoy being happy. And a lot of girls will tell you, oh, I hate it, I hate it. 
you hate it so much that you seek out that feeling, right? So I think the truth is the girls sometimes don't even know themselves because they'll say that they don't like it, but then somehow they'll always in, end up in that scenario where they're experiencing that emotion. So they clearly like that emotion, whether it's trauma-based, as a lot of people would argue, or based in some sort of a biological requirement, genetics, genetically speaking, of course, is sort of up to, up for debate, really, because I know girls that have no trauma and they still love to just be sad once in a while. There's a guy who need to have a good cry. So they obviously enjoy that process. For, guy, for us as guys, it's very foreign to understand this because they're like, why? I hate crying. Why would I ever want to cry? A lot of us, after a certain point in our lives, we never even cry ever again, right? Except for like the death or something, you know, death in the family or something like this. But um, the point is, is that for us, it's sort of a foreign concept to just enjoy crying. So that's why a lot of guys don't understand. So when she's saying it's complex, I, I don't think it's necessarily that complex. I just think it's hard for us to interpret life from purely an emotional lens. I think a lot of guys in a modern context dabble with a lot of emotions, but they don't feel like a deep-seated fulfillment from that. It's like guys, when they operate like this, like, yeah, they'll do it and convince themselves it's the right thing, but they're slowly still going to start to descend into like a really not so great state where girls can maintain this state long term and be okay i guess so but that, we'll, we'll talk about this another time this is now we're talking feminine masculine balance of course yeah porque muchas veces eh, sí puedo estar triste pero lo que menos quiero es un abrazo porque siento que se compadecen de mí entonces no necesito ese abrazo so yeah, and different girls will respond differently to different situations you know for example she's telling you oh well sometimes i don't want a hug i just want to be alone okay that's fair, but that is even that's a little bit of a masculine uh, tendency. So if she's in the presence of a guy that she feels really safe around, she's most definitely going to want a hug uh, instead of isolation. So now this is a little bit dependent on the girl. This is not necessarily a one size fits all. I'm just saying the truth is when she feels hyper safe around a particular guy, she is most likely going to want a hug instead of isolation. But she's painting, like I'm painting a general and she's giving me a specific, right? Which is sort of classic, but it doesn't take away from her point. I'm not saying she's wrong. It's just that I was painting as a general situation where when the dynamic is in place correctly, this is what you'd expect. I want to be alone. I just want to hear me. So it's like... It's very rare, la verdad. Lo dije como ejemplo. Sí, yo te entiendo, yo te entiendo. Es como un ejemplo de que puedes comprender la mente femenina. Ya, yeah, un abrazo no, se, no siempre es lo correcto. Pero bueno, vas por buen camino, tienes experiencia. Tengo uh, nula experiencia. Uh, Invítame a Colombia y brinda la experiencia que necesito. <laughs> Bueno, entonces yo te hago la invitación para que vengas y conozcas Colombia. See, a lot of guys are going to misinterpret that too. So earlier in the call, I think it wasn't in this clip, but she did say to me like, oh, you know, like you should come here. And I say, hey, I'm not coming without an invitation. And then eventually by the end of it, she did invite me formally. So obviously a good sign. Oh, come to Colombia to get to know Colombia. It's that's not, we, we both know that's not what the point is here. The point is here is for us to get to know each other, but she won't say it because then it seems too uh, desperate on her end. And she doesn't want to just show her, poke her hand like that. But we both know the truth. And a lot of guys are going to fall for this, right? They'll fall for it and say, oh, well, you know, she's, she's playing these games. She doesn't want to tell me the truth. Well, yeah, they're not going to reveal their poker hand to you because they want to seem very ladylike, right? Girls aren't just going to give you all the information on solar platter, very rarely, okay? If they're really, really into you, yeah, they'll make it extremely easy, but even then, there's always gonna be a little bit they'll hold on to, purely for the sake of the plausible deniability. Because if you reject them, they have to find a way to exit without their ego getting destroyed, right? That's what it's all about, because girls cannot handle rejection very well. I'll tell you that right now, they're very, very bad at managing rejection. La verdad, no te digo a dónde ir porque todo Colombia es hermoso, menos la capital. Esa no me gusta. 
Anyway, that was a pretty easy one. Um, like I said, it wasn't that crazy of a... It was easy for me to navigate. It really wasn't difficult. So for that reason, it's um, it's more just talking about, okay, you guys always tell me all the time, what do I talk about, right? There you go. There's a perfect example of what you can talk about. Essentially, you're talking about nothing. What do we talk about? Emotions? Some sort of communication, like classic girls will say some classic line, like, oh yeah, communication is super important. Easily, you can go down that path, right? You go down that path and you start bringing in all kinds of random details into it. You just say, nah, that's not true. We both know it's not true, right? Bring up a couple factual points that you like, you should know by now, especially if you're watching my channel, you should know by now that communication is really not, uh, or at least verbal communication is nowhere near as important as you think it is, right? So you bring that up, a girl now has the feeling, oh, maybe this guy gets it a little bit. Maybe he gets it. Maybe he can take care of me in that way. It makes it way easier for you to progress forward and maybe even get an invite. Who knows? Anyways, guys, as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to check the links in the description if you need help with dating or if you want to see more breakdowns like this.